Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome or welcome back to my channel in case this is your first time here. Hi, my name is Linda and on this channel we do everything home. So guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you a living room deep cleaning, a DIY fabric freshener and also how to deodorize and refresh your carpet guys. So stay tuned for all that and kindly subscribe to this channel if you haven't turn on the notification bell so that you are notified every time i upload so let's do this so these are the cleaning products for the day i'm using uh, sufficient glass tiles and window cleaner for the windows and for anything that is glass in the living room i also have this glass cleaner I really love this but it's almost over so that's why I'm carrying this one and then what I'm excited about is this um, carpet and upholstery cleaner the astonish one because my carpet is due for a wash but because the weather it's so you know so cold right now the carpet will not dry on time that's why I just want to spot clean it but normally I clean my carpet monthly then of course i have um, my disinfectant which is mr muscle it's also almost over and what else do we have okay some cleaning clothes but i'm going to be using these two in the living room then we have our bleach then uh, detergent that's it please yeah, this is the detergent bleach uh, these are all the products we are going to use for today so let's get cleaning if you live in nairobi kenya then you know this it's currently very very cold so in my house guys i normally wash my living room rug every end month because i have a very very bright living room rug guys so because it's so cold it will take a lot of time to dry and also guys the floors are really cold you don't have to be stepping on bare bare uh you know flaws so normally what i do in uh, such circumstances is I, I just refresh my living room rug you know so that it smells nice and it's clean without like really having to like wash it so one thing i normally do is i go in with baking soda yes guys baking soda normally like what baking soda does for your rug is you know it sucks out all the bad odor that might be on your rug so what you do just apply or spread a little bit of the, this baking soda all over your rug let it sit in for around five to ten minutes and then vacuum it out if you do not have a vacuum cleaner you can just alternatively like you know sweep your rug the normal way you normally like sweep it with a brush or with a broom whatever you use brush it out and then this way now you will go in with your you know like upholstery cleaner or a carpet shampoo whatever works for you even sometimes you can just go in guys with normal water and some detergent and some bleach if you have a bright rug you can omit the bleach if you have like a dull rug so for my case i normally go in with my land carpet and shampoo upholstery gaze so what i will be using today is i'm going to be trying this astonish cleaning product guys I know, I know I had shared this with you in my last video, so today I'm going to put it into practice. So stay tuned and let's see what this Astonish Cleaner, you know, this is actually an Astonish Carpet and Upholstery Cleaner. So this is what I'll be using for my carpet today. And on top of that, guys, I'll also be using my LAN Carpet and Upholstery Shampoo. So stay tuned, guys, because at the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a review of how this Astonish carpet and upholstery cleaner did
Spray here. Um, okay. Mm. Okay, enough. Enough, baby. So look at the difference here and here. Don't know if you can be able to tell. Or look at that difference there and here. You can see here it's a bit dull. There it's brighter. So yeah, it does the job, but then you need to use a lot of it also. And that's how it looks like. And this is how it, this area looks like where I have not cleaned. At some point, yes, I decided to like spot clean this carpet, like the whole of it. Initially, I had only said that I will clean the, you know, the bright parts of this carpet. But eventually, I decided to just like, you know, spot clean this carpet. And what I'm using right now is a LAN carpet and upholstery shampoo. And guys, this product, you just have to mix it in like one liter of water. And then use the foam to clean your rug or your carpet or your, you know your couch you know it's a fabric like cleaner so you can use it on any fabric so at some point guys i was like you know let me just spot clean the rest of this carpet and obviously i was not going to be using the astonish you know carpet and upholstery cleaner because guys i would have ended up using the whole bottle on this carpet and you know guys we want to save on that product because one thing i really loved about that astonish cleaning product is it really 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 has a very nice and sweet scent to it i really loved it because my like my rug was smelling so 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 nice i really really loved the scent of this and guys as you saw earlier it did a good good job on my carpet so usually once i'm done with you know like spot cleaning my carpet and as you can see my son was also joining in to help mommy clean once i'm done like cleaning the carpet or spot cleaning the carpet usually i'll just go in with you know my vacuum cleaner again and vacuum make sure that all the water that might be might have been sucked in with by the carpet gets out so that you know you don't have a damp carpet in the house because once you have a damp carpet it will start smelling and we do not want that so that's why that's one of the reasons I'm going in to vacuum it. And guys, as I was doing this, the sun decided to bless us. And so I was like, you know what? Let me take it out and let it dry before, you know, I return it to the house. Because then it has made, like, my work easier. I will not, like, you know, vacuum the rest of the carpet. But if there's no sun and you have a vacuum cleaner, you can just vacuum your carpet. If you do not have a vacuum cleaner, alternatively, you can just, you know, air dry your carpet. It will take around maybe an hour to two hours for it to be completely dry and then you return it into your house and guys later on i'll be sharing with you a diy fabric freshener that i usually use on my carpet to make it smell nice guys so stay tuned for that So guys now that i'm done with the carpet i'm going to be deep cleaning this living room and when i say deep cleaning basically guys i'm going to clean everything in this house i'm going to do the windows all the mirrors all the wall hangings the lightings you know the couch basically guys everything in this house because it was quite dusty and you know also it's end month and you know end month i usually deep clean this house maybe i deep clean my house around three times to four times in a month you know and then i do like one very major deep cleaning during the end month and when i say deep cleaning guys normally i do like you know wash the curtains remove the cushion covers to be washed wash the living room rugs you know and then i will be done you know basically i always want 
my living room to be sparkling clean or rather than my house to be sparkling clean when a new month starts guys i know everyone feels like you know it's a new month you want you know new, everything in your home to be clean so basically i do this every end month and guys as you can see my wall hangings were quite dusty you saw that just a minute ago it was quite dusty so i'll be going around my home or my living room just cleaning everything that my hand can possibly reach out to Guys, for my couch, I'm going to be using this Astonish carpet and upholstery cleaner to clean my couch, all of my couch in this living room. And guys, as I mentioned earlier, stay tuned until the end of this video where I'll be giving you a review of this product. If I did like it or if I did not like it or what worked for me and what did not work for me. So stay tuned for that review. But basically, I'm going to be deep cleaning this couch. And guys, as you can see, today I have not even removed the cushion covers because the weather guys it's so bad so i'm just going to like to refresh them like give them a very good you know vacuuming and then like wipe it down you know just to make sure that the couch is very clean it's not dusty and you know there's no like you know maybe food particles under the couch or something like that so i'm going to be doing the same thing i'm doing to this couch for the rest of the couch in my living room allow me to welcome our new subscribers thank you so much guys for seeing me with your fear subscription thank you so much for watching my content for subscribing to my channel i don't take it for granted guys thank you so much and may god bless you all for my premier gang you guys i have said this over and over again thank you thank you so much for always coming back to watch my content thank you so much for all your support guys i wouldn't be here without you and without your support so thank you so much and may god bless each and every one of you that is usually on my premier gang for my returning subscribers guys thank you so much for seeing my content worth of your you know subscription worth of you coming back to watch one video or two more videos on this channel or three more videos guys they are basically what i mean is thank you so much for always coming back to my channel to watch my content i do not take it for granted and may god bless you all for me For my dining area guys, I'm going to vacuum the seats because guys as you can see my seats have a fabric, they are a mixture of fabric and some wood so I'll be vacuuming the fabric area and then for the wood 
I'll just you know wipe it down and then you know wipe the table down and guess as you can see I don't have a rug here for the dining area because you know the rug for the dining area is really light so even if I wash it in the morning by the end of the day the rug will be dry or the next day the rug will be dry so for that rug I had removed it and it was already washed even for my curtains I had removed them like a week before I did this video so there was no need of me you know going back again to remove the carpet and the curtains to be washed so the curtains are clean the dining area rug is clean so what was not clean in this living room was the couch and also the living room area rug For my TV area guys, I'm going to do the same thing that I've been doing for the rest of the house. I'm going to wipe down the TV itself, wipe down the TV cabinet, all my plants guys. And also I'll be wiping, you know, all my, you know, real plants and also all my, you know, far plants. Because they get so, so dusty because my windows guys, they are always open. If you have been here for quite some time, I, I'm always saying my windows are always open. Apart from, you know, like now because it's too cold, I don't open them, you know, the whole day. Maybe when I wake up in the morning, I open them for like an hour or two and then I close them. And guys, as you can see on my screen, I was watching my fellow YouTubers. On this day, I was watching Shiko Makena and Pretty Mary Minor. You guys go check these two ladies out. They have awesome, awesome content, guys, on home-based content, lifestyle, uh, vlogs, you know, on hauls anything you can think about guys you know when it comes to plugs you know lifestyle content you know and uh, also cleaning videos be sure to check them out guys and i'm sure there will be one or two or three videos that you would love actually guys you will love all their content so run to their channel and go subscribe i'll be leaving the link to their channels in the description box down below guys now that i'm done deep cleaning my living room i'm going to organize this living room and for the uh, like uh, dining area i have already replaced this rug it's now clean and dry smelling all nice so i'm going to i have already placed it back for the living room area i'm going to do the same place that living room area rug and you know change the cushion covers or the throw pillow covers to some clean and you know smelling nice ones so let's do that guys and guys i realized that i have not been mentioning cleaning products that i've been using all throughout uh this is because guys when this video was starting i did share with you all the products all the cleaning products that i was going to be using so in case you are like you know keen you want to know what i was uh, doing just go back to when this video started where i shared what i was uh, which cleaning products i was going to use and guys as you can see my uh, rug it's all clean smelling nice as you can see it's now bright before this it was really dull and dark you know and it was dirty but now it's all bright guys and in a minute i'll be showing you guys how to make your own diy fabric freshener that you can use on your living room uh, rug i mean you can use them it on your living room rug you know any rug in your house it's safe to use on your curtains safe to use even on your bed sheets on your couch you know basically any fabric in your home when you want it to smell nice i'll be you know guys plugging you on that in just a minute commentators and i don't know what you say about our private conversations but it's got them hating things on all the rumors you be claiming it's cool i'm done with you so they can throw you a celebration you gonna hate it when you see me with somebody living better i'm trying to tell you that me just do it me gonna have you jealous uh. Blush pink guys has been a color that has been you know I have been impressing lately I've been loving it lately when I did the living room makeover 
last year when I had just started my channel, you know, I did change from, you know, the mustard to this blush pink. And honestly, I did love this blush pink. And I'm, you know, I'm thinking of incorporating more pinks, you know, shades of different pinks in my living room area and also in my bedroom area. I don't know how that will go, but you guys stay tuned on this channel because you never know. You might wake up tomorrow and we have another makeover for this living room guys so stay tuned and if you have not subscribed to this channel this is a polite reminder to subscribe to this channel so that you do not miss out on any new content that i'll be uploading soon guys what you will need to make your own fabric softener not softener fabric freshener of course, you need somewhere to mix in baking soda, fabric softener. You can choose whichever you like. This is a downy, the brown one, but you can choose whichever scent you like. And of course, you will need some hand sanitizer. So I have this hand sanitizer that has ethanol in it. This is still okay. And it also has tea tree, lemongrass, and all that good stuff. But I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use this one that has alcohol in it. I don't know if you guys can see. This paper has come off, but you can see the ingredients here. There is water, there's alcohol. So we are going for the alcohol in it. And what alcohol does, it makes uh, your fabric freshener last longer. The scent will last longer if you add a few drops of this in it so of course you will need your empty spray bottle i have this empty spray bottle this is what i'm going to be using and then of course you need hot water so let me show you quickly how to make this it's very simple not sleeping well and i know that you're right but you should know it been gone for way too long now If I can lay down beside you I would, I would When nothing really matters That's all I wanna do I hope that you're safe And that I will see you soon If I can lay down beside you I would, I would Even if you're gone, I won't Forget you. You're all I know, what I need, and that ain't changed. Oh, guys, this fabric freshener, or you can also use it as an air freshener in your home, like a DIY air freshener. I normally make this, guys, and whenever it, like I run out of it, I normally go back and make more and more because this is something I really like and I really love because this is what I use for my rugs in the house, for my curtains, sometimes for my beddings, for my seat. You know guys for any kind of fabric in your home try this out and come back and let me know how it all goes because guys when you come into my home once i have like sprayed this it really really smells nice and one thing i love about downy like uh, softness they have a strong smell and i'm into like strong scents so whenever i spray this in my living room or in my bedroom or where this scent will be lingering for around two to three hours guys i kid you not two to three hours your house will be smelling so amazing so be sure to try this out and let me know how it all goes you can see the carpet is all clean especially this area is where you know like we are always passing because it leads to the door outside and you know leads to the other side of the house so this area was really really um dirty but as you can see uh, those two cleaners that i used uh if you remember i had used uh, a stonish cleaner and also i used land carpet and upholstery cleaner so shampoo so as you can see they did an amazing job so the astonish did really a good job because my carpet right now as you can see it's bright and you know clean just the way it was supposed to be so i know this is going to last us for around two oh another two weeks 
and then you know maybe the weather will have improved so we will wash the carpet but one thing i'm not so happy about with the astonish cleaner guys because i said here i will give you my honest reviews about the cleaners i use is the astonish cleaner guys look at this i used it on this couch actually i used it on all the couches but the thing is it's leaving the white cast behind you see this it's a white cast this is a white cast this is a white cast so i don't know where i went wrong because i followed the instructions on that um bottle and it said spray and wipe off with a damp cloth that's exactly what i did so I don't know what happened. So Sly and Jojo kindly let me know what must, might have happened because I I once had um, because guys I once had um, another cleaner that was also doing this. I will not mention names that was doing this. So I had to change to something else. And I've been using the land and the land carpet and upholstery cleaner. It's been doing okay. It never leaves behind a white cast. But as you can see, this one is leaving behind white cast everywhere. Like, let me even show you this one again. It's not even showing on camera, but it was here. So I don't know what happened because for the carpet, it did an awesome job. It did an awesome job. But for the couch, not very. So you can see, yeah, these are the white cast I'm talking about. Because I was spraying and then wiping it off, but when it dried, this is what it left behind. So I don't know what might have happened. I'll give it another try, but this time I'll not wipe it off with a with a clean damp cloth or a clean dry cloth. I will do what I did with the carpet. I will use a brush to brush off these um, to brush off the way I was doing with the carpet. I will do that with the couch and see if there will be any improvement but so you can see guys I love the results on the carpet but I don't love the results of the couch yeah that's it so guys that's it from me today thank you so much for watching i do hope that you did learn one or two things in this video and that you are also motivated to keep your spaces clean and clutter free i hope that i'll be seeing you guys in my next video if you have not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell so that you are notified whenever i have a new upload and i would really appreciate guys so until my next one love and light bye bye